it's mathing time. Yes, it's mathing time. I'll stop singing for you guys. So our next lesson today, and I hope everybody's doing well, we're going to talk a little bit about triangles. Okay. My triangles are rocking out and kicking back. Some things that you guys need to know about triangles right away is that one little side bit is that the triangle is about one of the strongest shapes that we actually have in our natural world. If you pay attention when you're riding with mom and dad or when you're walking around your neighborhood, you'll see that triangles are actually a shape that's incorporated into a lot of our buildings and in a lot of our architecture because it holds on to weight really well and it distributes weight evenly and makes buildings really strong. Uh, the next thing that you need to know is that if you remember from our previous lessons, triangles are going to be built out of three separate angles. And remember that angles are built out of two rays. Okay. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to look at triangles and how we classify triangles as mathematicians. And generally we classify triangles in two ways. We either classify them by their angles and how big or small their angles are or we classify them by their sides and how long their sides are. So first let's talk about triangles and how we measure them by their angles. We're going to start with the right triangle because right angles we talked about last week is a special type of angle. If you'll remember a right angle is built where there's a perfect 90 degree measurement. You can only have one right angle in a triangle. And any time that you see a right angle in a triangle, and remember that the right angle has that little square down in the corner, and not a curve that shows you how to measure an angle, but the square that says this is a, always going to be 90 degrees. As soon as you see that square, you know that it's going to be a right triangle. The triangle can be read as triangle ABC, triangle BAC, or triangle CAB. And you can start at any vertex you want with a triangle. If you will remember when we talked about angles, we said that angles had to have that vertice of an angle. As, as the center, angle D, or excuse me, E, D, G. But with triangles, that doesn't necessarily need to be the case. Right triangles will always only have one right angle. And part of that is, is, let's think about if we tried to draw two right angles back to back. I put in my first right angle, put my little box in. Well, I know that a right angle is 90 degrees, so that means this line is going to shoot straight up. Well, then I have two parallel lines. And we know triangles don't have any parallel lines. They actually have intersecting lines. So one right angle, automatically a right triangle, and there can only be one. The next type of triangle we're going to talk about is called an obtuse triangle. And similarly to the right triangle, it only has one obtuse angle. If you'll remember from our lesson last time, that obtuse angles are any kind of angle that is larger than 90 degrees from 91 to 179 degrees because at 180 that's just laying flat, it's a line, it's a straight angle. So an obtuse angle, and I've put in the dotted line that's supposed to represent 90 degrees, is bigger than a right angle. And just like a right triangle, it can only have one. If I try to draw, here's my obtuse angle. If I use this vertice to draw another obtuse angle, they won't connect. So right triangles, obtuse triangles, they only have one of their special angle. Now, the last type of classification for triangles by their angle size are acute triangles. And remember those acute angles are the small, tiny, cute angles. Those angles we can have three of. And if it doesn't have one of our special angles in it, then we automatically know it's made up of three acute angles and it's a three and it's an acute triangle. Excuse me. Now, final interesting bit that you'll work more with in fifth grade is that if you add up the measurements of all three angles, whether it's a right triangle, whether it's an obtuse triangle, or whether it's an acute triangle, 
no matter what, if you add up these three angle measurements every single time, it's always going to be 180 degrees. All triangles measure 180 degrees when you add their angles together. It's interesting, isn't it? So if we're not measuring triangles by their angles, then we can measure triangles by their sides. Okay? When we measure triangles by their sides, we have three different types of triangles. We categorize it as scalene, and that's kind of a weird word, if none of the sides are equal. If none of the sides are what's called congruent, which is just a big fancy word meaning the same. Oftentimes in geometric sketches, you'll see these little like hash lines in the middle of the side that annotate or mean this side is a different measurement than this side, which is a different measurement than this side, because that's side one, that's side two, side three. Scalene triangles have no sides that are the same. Even if it's a right triangle, you can still have a scalene triangle that has a short vertical side, a long horizontal side, and then this diagonal, which is called the hypotenuse, but we're not going to go there this year, can be a different measurement. If we have two sides the same, it's called an isosceles. That's spelled I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. -E -E if that's a word you're going to confuse spelling, don't sweat it. Honestly, I got a master's degree and I had to look it up before I wrote it down. Isosceles triangles have two sides that are the same. Now remember, the orientation of my triangles, these could be a V. It could be upside down if I wanted to. As long as they were the same sides. That side's the same, this to this side, and this is a different measure, a different length side. These measurements are the same. Usually you'll see them either being tall, skinny triangles, or you'll see them being wide-bottomed triangles like this. They may kind of look like the roof of a house. The roof of our houses usually have isosceles triangles built into them. The final type, the final way that we measure or classify triangles is by if all three sides are the same. So we either have no sides the same, two sides the same, or all three sides are the same. We can't ever have just one side the same. That's scalene because every side is only the same as itself. Equilateral triangles almost look like the perfect triangle. All three sides have the exact same length of measurement. Matter of fact, they're also equilangular, which means all three angles are exactly the same measurement. It really is almost the perfect triangle. I hope that you found this information informative. If you need to go back and watch it again, that's what's great about these split videos. You can go back and get the content as many times as you want. See you in the next lesson.